Hello and welcome back to the channel. This is Abhinav. So in this video, we are going to talk about the problem A and B of court forces on 762 division 3, which is a square a string, and uh, the B one is uh, square sine cube. Okay, so both are very easy problem. Okay, so the problem is that uh, in this uh, problem, square string, you are going with a string, and that string basically con consists of two same strings. For example, A A, there is a A again a, a. Okay, means I string followed by the same string. Here it, it is A B C then A B C. Here it is A B then A B. Here B A A then B A A. You have to just check that is this a square string or not. Okay, so for this I don't think that it is a, a very tough question. You have to just uh, uh, check. You have to first of all divide that string into two part and then you have to check that is the first part equal to second part or not. So obviously, if the length of the string is odd, then it can't be a, a square string, okay? And if it, the, the length is even, then you have to divide it into two substrings, okay? Two substrings uh, such that the first string is from zero to n by two, and second is from n by two to n, and then check if s is, s is equal equal to two or not. Right? So this is a easy question. For problem B, you have to uh, you have to check that uh, how many Perfect cubes and perfect squares are there, uh, which are less than or equal to a number n. So, so for this, let me use uh, a white board to explain this to you. So, to find that how many square uh, perfect squares are there, uh, which are less than or equal to that number, so we have to just use the function sqrt to find it. Okay, we have to just use a function known as sqrt. Okay, if if you have the function sqrt. It will tell you means SQRT n will tell you that and the floor of this SQRT n actually the floor the floor value of this it will tell the number of uh, sorry number of perfect squares fine now floor of CBRT n it will give you number of perfect cube so you can just add these two values and you can get the answer but the thing is that there should be some common value means that values which are also a, uh, which are also is perfect square and which are also perfect cube for example 64 so 64 is a is square of 8 and is a cube of 4 so it is a uh, basically it is a uh, perfect square and also perfect cube so it is the common value it is counted in this one and this one both so in that case what we have to do is so first of all we have to find such values which are divisible by which are perfect squares also perfect cube also okay so how can we find such values and we will just minus these values from the particular uh, these two values the sum of these two values so basically all the numbers which are perfect power of six because if a number for example because uh, we have to find perfect power of six means six 12 18 like this fine so if we have to find a perfect we, we can find perfect uh, uh, square root because we find we can find perfect cubes but how can we find perfect power of six okay so those uh, those numbers which are uh, perfect cube also and perfect square also are basically the perfect power of six so we can just use the floor value of sqrt cbrt of n this is basically means the cbrt of n and sqrt of n this cbrt of n will give n 1 by 3 okay and this sqrt of n will give n 1 by 3 1 by 2 means n 1 by 6 so it will give all the values who are perfect power of 6 less than n less than or equal to n and we will just uh, subtract this value from the sum of these two values that will be the answer i hope you got it i hope you got it let 
us move towards the code part to understand this this thing okay what i have done is i have just uh, uh, first of all calculated the sqrt of n then cbrt of n added to our variable c and then i have subtracted this from the sqrt cbrt of n now it is the answer c this is i think a very good question fine so okay so thank you for watching the video i hope you like it thank you if you have done you can comment down or you can join our telegram subscribe to our forum thank you for watching the video i hope you like it thank you